it needs to be this way. So just as an aside here, we want to calculate what that power would have been if there were 2.667 amps. Again, P equals I squared R. It would have been 2.667 squared times 12. which gives us 85.33 watts. Okay, now we've got a point where we've got to unify everything. So, the current, the real current, according to the superposition theorem, is the algebraic sum of that induced by the 54 volt source, which is I single prime 12, plus I double prime 12, which was this guy over here. But now, they are in opposition to each other. So which one wins out? Pretty obviously the 2.667 is in greater magnitude than the 0.5. So it's 2.667 minus 0.5 equal to 2.167 amps. Which direction is it going? It's going up. Okay, so now 2.167 amps, there really is 2.167 amps going through that 12 ohm resistor. We can calculate the real power. Power, as again, is equal to I squared R. So 2.167 squared times 12, and that's going to be equal to 2.167 squared times 12 is equal to 56.35 watts, which is most definitely not equal to 85 over here plus 3. 56.35 not equal to that. So we've just demonstrated the fact that power it is not the algebraic sum. Superposition theorem, not valid for power. Okay, let's go ahead and erase the screen. We're going to start over with a new problem so you guys can get to practice some of these things. Okay, so let's try this problem here. Looks like we've got a 36 volt source over here. And we've got a 9 amp current source. So we want to go ahead and in this case um, let's find the current through the 6 ohm resistor. So let's start off. We'll do the 36 volt source. We're going to redraw it using the 36 volt source. Again, it's 36 volts. Nothing happened to the 12 ohm resistor. 6 ohms is still there. But now when we get to the current source, we replace it with an open circuit. So right now, this is a very simple network. where we've got a 12 ohm resistor in series with a 6 ohm resistor. Because this is an open circuit here, there's no incentive for the, uh, for the current to go that direction. Okay, So there's no current in this network, in this portion of the network over here, and all the current's going to go through there. So I prime 6 is going to be equal to the applied voltage divided by the total resistance. In this case, it's 36 volts divided by 18, which is 12 plus 6, 2 amps going down. Okay? So our, we're going to redraw this here from the current source perspective. 9 amps hooked up with a 6 ohm resistor. with a 12 ohm resistor and we've replaced our 36 volt source with a short circuit. So now because that short circuit exists right there, what we've got is a situation where current's going to come out of the 9 amp source, go this way, and it's going to go that way. 
and it's going to split up according to the current divider rule. So this is a pretty cool problem because we've changed our perspectives here from the 12, oh, excuse me, from the 36 volt source to the 9 amp current source. We've got a situation where it's changed from a series network to a parallel network. So you need to keep your mind open to that possibility, depending on putting a short circuit or an open circuit within the network. So, according to the current divider rule, it's 6 plus 12 times 9 amps. We're looking for I double prime 6. So the 6 is the 1, not the 1 is 12. Okay? So 12 divided by 18 times 9 is going to equal 6 amps. In which direction is this thing going? It is going down. Okay? So this is a situation where the 6 amps is going in the same direction as the 2 amps. So now we can summate these things here is I 6 is equal to I single prime 6, which is our 2 amps, plus I double prime 6, 2 plus 6 is 8. Which direction? It's going down. Okay? What is the power from this, uh, uh, excuse me, being dissipated by the 6 ohm resistor? The power is equal to the total current squared times the resistance. And our total current is 8 squared times the 6 ohm resistance, 384 watts. We could not take the power induced by this network, excuse me, by this portion of the network and this portion and sum them up because it is, the superposition is not valid for power. What we have to do is take this total current here and use it to find the total power dissipated by the 6 ohm resistor. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. You guys should be able to knock out uh, section 9.2 and do some of the example problems in the back of the book. And we are going to see each other with Thevenin's theorem next.